Welcome to the Property Channel, coming to you from Newcastle and the store. We're here today with Gavin Edgar, who's the General Manager for DOMA, and it's um, this is their development, and we're really excited to have you back. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us. Nice to showcase Newcastle and what's going on here and, and tell people about the exciting story that's uh, that's playing out here in, you know, the second largest city in, in New South Wales. It's awesome. So, Gav, the, um, DOMA's been a, a, a big participant in Newcastle uh, for a decade. Uh, we've seen the, the new Newcastle CBD migrate here to, to the western part of the city and, and the store is the crowning uh, achievement in that, in that process. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the store as a project? Yeah, look, we've been coming here since 2014 and I guess uh, all of us that, uh, that come here, every time we come here, there's a, we have a smile on our face. You look at this blue sky, water, it's a, it's a really fun place. And, uh, you come up here in the store, here where we are in the display suite, and you just look out the window at what is an awesome place to be. There's not a bad view. So we're really excited to bring, you know, the two largest, uh, tallest buildings in Newcastle to the market through Colliers. And uh, we're really excited about the offering that we have here, which is quite unique in that we've got uh, nearly an acre of um, recreational amenity, uh, tennis courts, pools, gyms, uh, outdoor play areas that, that isn't offered in anywhere in the city uh, on the footsteps of a huge investment by the state government on the foreshore, uh, a short walk to the beach um, and, and a real sense of vibrancy now that's starting to pop up in a regenerated city that's following the investment from, from the New South Wales government into transport really and that, that's off the back of um, you know, the redevelopment here at the store. Mm. Yeah, the store is, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a significant project for Newcastle and a significant project for DOMA. Um, the, the inquiry that we're already uh, receiving on the store is really attracted to never before seen views, the height of the, of the project yeah. uh, and the mix of apartments that is on offer. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about the project and how, how the design team worked through to deliver what we're seeing now? Yeah, we always... Um we always try and create a, a range of different product types within a development uh, that caters to a range of different buyers and, and uh, what the customer's looking for. We've got even differing sizes and styles of apartments. Some one beds without cars might suit a particular buyer. There's, um, there's two beds with two cars. Um, so we, we do offer an opportunity for people to think about really what they want and hopefully have something that appeals to them. We spent a lot of time inside the apartment on the floor plans, designing them from the inside out. It's really what we spent a lot of time on is to get that right. Because if we think that a customer walks in and feels like it's home and it's functional, they'll love living there. And, and that for us is, is really important. And, um, you know, to the point where all of us in the office, including the managing director, um, we all review every single floor plan and we all mark them all up and, and workshop Mm. what we think every apartment should be. We test that with you guys. We, we get a sense of what your inquiry is looking for and we try and tailor the product to suit. And I think we've done that in the store and I'm hoping that it appeals to a range of downsizers, uh, first home buyers, investors, uh, live-in owner-occupiers um, that are all looking for something that's, you know, here in this location. Look, it really, the, the, the refined design really shows, um, Gavin, I think what we're seeing in Newcastle, and we've seen this consistently for a number of years, the, the market takes up about 300 apartments per year, and that's been consistently growing, but it's a steady, it is a steady state. Um, the, the supply of apartments in the city is not, is not great. Um, we're seeing a lot of people wanting to come and live in the inner city that's had that massive revitalisation and, um, and transformation. So people are really drawn to all of the things that you just talked about, the harbour, um, the transformed city, um, proximity to the beach and all those sorts of things. Um, what, what do you think are, are the key um, attractors for, for this location and, and for the store? Well, I think the views are phenomenal and uh, in all directions. And I think that's amazing. Um, the ability to be located next to a multi-mode transport hub is fantastic. Mm. Uh, you've got the foreshore, um, New South Wales government and, and Hunter Development Corporation have spent a lot of money on 
creating a beautiful foreshore. You've got a working harbour, um, creates a lot of interest. Um, so uh, in addition to that, really, there's been this definitive shift of the CBD from um, to, the, to the west, uh, which was accelerated by council's move down here. We're anchored here in this building by large uh, New South Wales government presence, so very strong employment. Mm. Uh, so there's a range of things, I think, that are appealing to this location. So, Gav, do you want to tell us a little bit about what brought Doma to Newcastle and then...? Yeah. Yeah, we came here in uh, 2014 following on from um, our delivery of Commonwealth office projects and at the time the tax office in Newcastle was looking for potentially a new home. So I came up and had a look around and came back um, to the office and said, I think there's a really good market for us, not just in, uh, in office developments, but also in the residential space. Uh, so we, we bought our first site in Honeysuckle in a competitive tender. We then went about, I guess, delivering what we'd been delivering in Canberra and our approach to residential development. We, we sort of commenced that process with a 71 unit development here which sold out in seven weeks. Um, we were really impressed by the, the take up in the market. Um, the really interesting thing for us was that the people we were working with like Colliers were really welcoming. Um, the style of business is very similar to the way we do things in Canberra. Um, it's a little bit more personable. It's not, as, um, it's not as aggressive as it might be in some of the major cities. It's really about working with people and, and giving them comfort around what you're trying to do and um, delivering on your promise. So that's sort of how it started. And then we've progressively been uh, winning competitive tenders in Honeysuckle ever since, culminating in um, this is our largest project here at the store. So that's the, that's the story in a nutshell. It is. Yeah. So Colliers do have the relationship with Doma. We've done six, I think, residential projects here with you in Newcastle, which have all been sellouts and really... Um, popular and look amazing. Most of them are completed. Do you want to talk a little bit about the Newcastle market? Yeah, look, as you know, it's the Newcastle's the second biggest city in the state. Uh, it's the capital of the biggest regional economy in the country. And you've, uh, through DOMA, seen a lot of what's happened here in the last 10 years. So through the Colliers residential team, we've seen uh, in the last couple of years that have been potentially challenging years, really strong growth in residential, so 20 to 30% growth in most of the inner city market segments. Um, and we're seeing a lot of people discover what you've already spotted, which is Newcastle's a great place to live and uh, to invest. And a lot of people are moving here from the major metro areas. Is that, what's your impression of, of what's happened in Newcastle the last few years? It's interesting that every time we come here, we feel this um, energy about the place. It's, there's a, uh, I think there's a lot of excitement about what Newcastle can be. There's a new generation of Novocastrians that are really as proud as their previous um, generations were about the city, but they're even prouder because they're, they're turning it and shaping it into this emerging, exciting place where they've now got great employment opportunities, great education opportunities. They love living here and they're now getting the opportunity to set themselves up with their families in Newcastle. So we saw that energy and really wanted to tap into that. And I think the light rail copped a lot of criticism um, about what it was going to do for the city, but it has and is still transforming the city. The city had decayed a long way before the light rail, and you can see that these new shoots are emerging in the city and um, the city is going to be a, a really um, popular place and an alternative for people in Sydney now that are all of a sudden turning north, looking at what Newcastle offers, and it's very appealing. We, look, we're seeing that, I think, in Newcastle. Uh, people from not only the Sydney area, but Western New South Wales and interstate have discovered Newcastle. Um, it's 10 years since uh, the heavy rail terminus was moved to this location, so we've now got light rail, uh, intercity rail and airport transfers happening at the transport interchange, which is right on the doorstep here of the store. Um, and we are seeing younger people um, and people of all ages in Newcastle starting to use public transport more because they're really attracted to what's happening in the inner city, I think. And uh, they want to buy and live in projects that deliver the sort of lifestyle and quality that the store represents. Is that is that what you're seeing here? Yeah, and I think um, this workplace flexibility 
um, has has really opened up Newcastle opportunity for a lot of people. I mean, even this morning, caught an Uber in this morning, was chatting to the Uber driver. He's spending um, half his time in Sydney, half his time in Newcastle, and he's, he's transitioning out of Sydney to Newcastle. And I asked him what it was that appealed. He said, oh, look, it's, Newcastle's got everything that Sydney's got, but at half the price. So, you know, that was just a, that was just a chat in an Uber. Um, uh, so I think, I think there are people that are definitely looking into that. And I think, you know, my sense is talking to, you know, the Collier's leasing team is that businesses are also starting to rethink their workplaces. And we've been pushing the Newcastle agenda quite hard to try and get tenants to reconsider moving parts of their business to Newcastle as opposed to Parramatta or Hurstville. So as the employment grows as well, I think that is a really positive thing for Newcastle. Having worked with Doma for quite a few years, I know their ethos is to what you build is you're working towards the outcome for the buyer and yeah. that they're going to be in there long term. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, we've always, um, our team's always been really focused on analysing apartments as if we were going to live in them ourselves. We spend a lot of time living inside a floor plan and working out the functionality of it. Um, and we're often, I guess, sort of surprised, but a little bit kind of chuffed, I suppose, when a, a customer gets their keys and says, oh, wow, this is so much better than I thought it would be. Um, whereas we think, well, it's, it's always what we promised you. Um, so that's, you know, we had a lady burst into tears at, at Loom when she got her keys. She just was, was overwhelmed with how great it was. But I think those, those little um, efforts on getting the apartment layouts right, thinking about the functionality of the space, what would, we always approach property with um, the mindset that would we like it and be happy with it if we owned it? And if we, we do with our Hopefully, with our experience in doing this, that means hopefully our customer will also be happy with it. So that's that's what we've brought to the store. And we've tried to create a mix of apartments. I mean, there's not a bad view in Newcastle, which is also incredible. You've got the two tallest buildings in Newcastle here with panoramic views, district water um, to the beach. Um, so there's a really... Um, really interesting range of apartment mix and types that we've got here that hopefully can appeal to a range of different customers that are looking for certain things, you know. In saying that, so every apartment has timber floorboards, every apartment has melee appliances, sort of top level um, kitchen bench tops and, and whatnot. So what you're delivering at, at any budget is an immaculate apartment and a beautiful place to live. Yeah, well, we'd like to think that the customer's decision is also, I mean, it's one of the bigger property decisions they'll make is it's not just about, um, you know, what's the saying, um, uh, price is forgotten long after quality is remembered or something like that. You know, it's not just about the entry price, it's about the ability to rent it, the resale, the livability of it. Uh, they're all important factors we hope the customer takes into consideration when they compare buying an apartment from us with, you know, one of our competitors. And you mentioned before the lady at Loom who burst into tears. I did a lot of those pre-settlement inspections with those buyers and the majority of the comments were, this is so much better than I expected, which was, you know, fantastic for us as part of that selling process, but also a testament to your delivery. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I think, yeah, we always make jokes about that. Oh, do we, do we offer too much or do we... But I, I think that's really nice to hear that uh, we delivered on what we said we would. And we, we always uh, have a view that the current customer might be our next customer. Yeah. So we're really all their friends. So we really try to think like that with all the decision making we make in the design. It's, uh, it's not just about a, a one-off um, transaction. We're about uh, emerging ourselves in Newcastle, continuing to invest here. We've, got a, we've, got a, we've had a long history here. We want to be here for longer. Uh, so the customer of today is the customer of tomorrow as well. We're also seeing that we've had people who are, have bought in each of your projects now and are certainly lining up here now for the store. So yeah, that's fantastic. your story is definitely developing. And yeah, well, that that's really what that was. That's always our goal is to, to a repeat customer is is um, you know fantastic because that's that's a, a credit to your previous project. Yeah. Hmm. 
Gav, the Colliers team is, is very proud to be partnering with Doma on this project. So thank you for your time today and, uh, and congratulations on the store. Thanks. Thank Good luck. You. Thank you. Thanks for watching the Property Channel. I'm Ed Crawford, Director of Residential at Colliers in Newcastle. And I'm Kimberly Morgan, Operations Manager for Residential in Newcastle. Thank you for watching today and hearing about the store, which we're really excited about. For more information, the details are on the screen.